Good afternoon. It has been almost a month since the WIP radiation leak. The government continues to assure people they are safe, but how do they know? Today, for the first time, we went along as they performed the tests. Here's Emily Younger. We've heard it time and time again. The air filters outside WIP indicate there's no immediate danger to the public. But what do those air filters look like, and what do they really do? The Carlsbad Environmental Monitoring and Research Center operates air sampling units at and around the nuclear repository site. So we actually have an upwind, an on-site, and a downwind sampler. Basically sampling the air in and around the WIP repository. The center, run by New Mexico State University, collects dozens of air filters like this one every day. 47 filters a week. That you check. That we either check, collect, or observe getting collected. After the technician collects the filter from the specific site, they'll take that sample back to the lab where it'll be processed. Once it's at the lab, radioactive chemists analyze the filters for dangerous particles that may have escaped the underground nuclear dump and spread into the air. The research center says on February 14th, the day of the underground spill, their air filters detected high levels of radiation. Up to and including the week before the event, We've had to look at six to eight decimal places below zero to see activity. And right now we're seeing activity about two decimal places below zero. Officials say the public has nothing to worry about. They say even though the radiation levels are higher today than they were before the leak, there's no health hazard. If there is something out there, we will see it. In Carlsbad, Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. Technicians from the research center check the air filters three times a day. Tomorrow, they will start taking soil samples outside the plant. The DOE says technicians might go underground this week to find the cause of the leak.